The latest meeting of the Mayor's Business Council was held at General Motors' Orion Assembly Plant. Members heard how one of the region's leading employers is doing and got a full tour of the facility. The purpose of the Business Council is to connect local businesses with each other and keep the city engaged with their needs. As always, the meeting began with a free-form, open-mic style session where the members reported on how their business is doing. And, as always, the news was very positive. Morning, I'm Jay Michaels. I'm also a new member here with Wabco Remand Solutions. Uh, I'm in the process of repatriating back from Germany here to Rochester Hills. And part of that reason is last time we were here, I think we had about 55 people, but business has been growing. We're up to about 70 people now in the facility and looking to continue to expand. Uh, business has been very good. We've hired almost 10 people since the beginning of the year. Uh, things are good. If you come over to visit us, please carpool because we're running out of parking spaces. We moved to Rochester Hills about 14 months ago with three people, and we're currently at 39. Uh, we just signed a lease to add another 30,000 square feet. Uh, we just picked up the uh, Model 15 uh, Ford F-150 front wiper motor, so that's about 750,000 volume per year. We also got our first Fiat business, which is a Maserati and a truck called a Ducato, and we've now expanded and got into uh, Scania, which is a Swedish truck manufacturer. There were two keynote speakers today. John Blanchard, GM's Director of Local Government Relations, spoke about GM's turnaround over the last few years and just how much investment GM has made in the U.S. and Michigan. Since 2009, you'll see we've invested $8.4 billion in the United States and created near or retained nearly 25,000 jobs. That was an intentional strategy to come back and invest in the U.S. manufacturing. We have a stronger relationship with the UAW now than we ever did. And uh, uh, I'll get into some of the details of where some of this investment is. But out of that 8.4 billion, uh, 545 million right here in this facility. And over 6 billion of that is in Michigan. So 6 billion in Michigan and almost 18,000 of these jobs were right here in Michigan. Steve Brock, the plant manager, prepped the group for their tour with an overview of what they make there and how they make it. And probably most important from a customer perspective is quality. You will hear a lot today out on the floor relative to how we build quality into the vehicle. We absolutely want the customer to have a great ownership experience all the way from day one and on the average five-year life cycle on the very last day before they go back to see Russ to buy another Buick or GMC. The meeting culminated in the much-anticipated tour. Safety always being first, everyone donned their safety goggles, ring protectors, belt protectors, and even Kevlar sleeves in case of a close encounter with some sharp this, sheet again, metal. Is, these are Kevlar in case we accidentally brush against uh, sheet metal. The plant is immense, 4.2 million square feet, employing over 1,800 workers from in and around the Rochester Hills area. The plant was completely remodeled to prepare for its current production of the Chevy Sonic and Buick Verano. Since opening in 1983, Orion Assembly has built more than 4.6 million vehicles for General Motors. The plant also holds the distinction of becoming the first GM facility to receive the Clean Corporate Citizen designation by the state of Michigan. The efficiency and innovation seen here is truly amazing. For example, the cars going down the line will raise and lower at different stations so workers don't have to bend or stretch to do their jobs. It's noteworthy that a lot of the robots you see assembling these Buick Veranos and Chevrolet Sonics come from Rochester Hills' own Fanuc Robotics, right off of Hamlin Road, just west of Adams. The Mayor's Business Council meets again in the early summer, and everyone's looking forward to hearing more good news and sharing more innovative ideas.